<clears throat> on 25th of March, I requested the Committee of Finance through a statement in Parliament to look into the operations of Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority, UFA. And uh, there were quite some concerns that were brought to my office um, on uh, funds that are missing and on audit reports and just uh, some very dubious activity. So I presented a statement at the floor of the House on 25th. And uh, in this statement, I requested that the Finance Committee uh, is able to establish some of the issues that were raised, including 500 million worth of um, uh, 500 million Kenya shillings that was spent on uh, auditing services. There's also uh, an issue of 10 billion. So investigate the discrepancies regarding unremitted funds amounting to ab about 10 billion that is lost. Once I gave this statement uh, at the floor of the house, then several things happened. First of all, I received quite a number of phone calls which were not... Uh, they were threats, and, uh, and I said, I have to pursue. But immediately after that, there are two staff members who have been let go. So the head of ICT, that is the manager ICT at Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority, has been let go, and then also the head of finance, so the manager of finance and accounting. With me here, I have... There are letters, which are appeal letters that have been sent to the PS of National Treasury uh, for their contracts to be renewed. Now, what happened is that uh, uh, and immediately after my statement, the board was called for a meeting. These contracts of these particular people were supposed to be renewed. They were lapsing, I think, on 8th of April. They were supposed to be renewed. But... Last, actually, this is 25th of March. Immediately after I read the, the, the statement, a uh, meeting was called. There was a recommendation from a committee. The Finance and HR Committee gave a recommendation that these people, their contracts need to be renewed. The recommendation was ignored. The board, in fact, did not even uh, adopt any of the reports that was uh, uh, tabled by the Working Committee of Finance and HR. And instead, the board, led by the chair, uh, manipulated, and I have to say this, because they forced a vote. And if you understand operations of uh, the board, uh, rarely that does the board vote on matters uh, for renewal of contracts. But because the chair needed to um, legitimize how they are going to let go of these two people, then they forced a vote and they decided not to adopt the, the, the report. And so these two people now have been rendered jobless. But one thing I want to explain so that guys can understand what this authority... This authority is supposed to, to take care of the funds for the unclaimed assets and finances of people who have passed on. Um, and so there's a lot of money that's sitting in banks. This piece of legislation was passed... The Unclaimed uh, Financial Assets Authority was constituted. And this is how it works. There is a department uh, called, the de there's a department that is in charge of reconciliation of all the funds. So ideally, an auditor is sent from UFA. The auditor goes to the bank, uh, Bank A. They do the audit reports. They find out, for instance, that there is 100 million of unclaimed uh, funds. That report is reported directly to UFA through an ICT system, a digital system. Once it is reported, then there is now another department that is in charge of reconciliation that is in charge of going to collect that money. So you find that uh, the head of ICT, the head of uh, audit, and uh, uh, the head of finance, they go out, they report what they have found, and then they say there's this amount of money in this bank, but the people now the department that is in charge of collecting the funds the people who are there what happens is they do not collect the whole amount they take the whole amount from the bank but down there they collude um with the some of the bank managers and so if made let's say 100 million was reported that it's unclaimed uh, funds then 100 million is reported to the system in ufa but 50 million is what is going to be collected by that department so some time back 
there was a report that was uh, uh, put together by that department in charge of reconciliation, the one that receives and, uh, uh, and is in charge of also investing. That report did not tally with uh, the head of finance and the head of ICT, the data and the figures that they had. So the discrepancy they had is that this department for collecting, for instance, was saying, and this is an example, that there's X amount of money we have collected. But the other, uh, uh, the audit and finance and ICT were saying, but in fact, there's more money that should have been collected. So these offices, the ICT, finance and audit, actually rejected that report. And since then, there has been an issue. Because they were trying to say that there's so much more money that should have been collected, but only a certain amount was remitted to UFA. Now, these are some of the allegations that I wanted UFA to come and, and talk to Senate and, and literally tell us, where is this 10 billion? Where has it gone? Immediately that statement of mine, I read it in the floor of the house. Then you can see the head of ICT and the head of finance, they have been fired. And they have given no reasons whatsoever as to why they are not renewing the contracts of these two individuals. But it is very clear and outright that the amount of looting that is happening in Ufa is, first of all, crazy. Because we, this 10 billion is the one that we can see black and white on paper. But if you look at how the systems have been set, there is a lot of corruption. So um, I would like to call upon three things. The individuals whose contracts have actually been brought to an end because of, uh, you can say they are doing their work and they're ensuring that the oversight is there. This is the head of uh, finance and uh, the ICT manager. I can see that they have written an appeal to the PS and they have written an appeal also to the relevant authorities. It is important that the CEO of UFA and the chair of UFA understand that we are the eyes are there. We are looking at them. The only reason that these two people are being victimized is because they are the people who can easily and are able to give you the proper information in terms of the funds that, have, that should have actually hit the UFA accounts but did not come in. That's why they are being fired. Secondly, it is important that I think, and this is my, my call now to the president, that board of uh, unclaimed uh, financial assets authority. It needs to be disbanded. The whole board needs to be let go because the operations now are so murky that there are board members who are in there who sat down and colluded with the chair to make sure that these two people are fired. And in fact, what they are trying to make sure is that they can continue uh, looting these funds and these are fans of, of, of dead people. They're literally dancing on the graves of dead people. So that board needs to be uh, um, disbanded. Another thing I want to call for, because I understand that there is a file. There is a file sitting at ESCC. And that file was already probing on the corrupt dealings of unclaimed financial uh, assets authority. ESCC is sleeping on the job. They need to get to the bottom of this. They need to either kickstart if they have not started the investigation, but I'm calling upon the ACC to actually look into this matter because now we are having innocent Kenyans who are being fired because they are doing their job. Then, um, there is an issue of, of, uh, of there is a legal issue. We, we, we require to look into the laws of how unclaimed financial assets authority is. Because it cannot be, first of all, that all 80% uh, of the staff members are actually on contract. And there is no term limit, but it means that if, for instance, a situation like this where the head of ICT and the head of finance is doing their job, when they clearly are not interested in participating in the corrupt dealings by the board or the individuals who are there, then their contracts are not renewed. So we need to look into how to safeguard the positions of these staff members because they are dealing with very, very sensitive matters. And these are matters where, as you can see, just the, the, the way the thing has been set up, you can be let go of. They just say, we are not going to renew your contract, and there is no explanation. It is just 
you know, they try to say that you're not performing, but really it is because you are not interested in playing ball and uh, uh, um, being corrupt with, this, uh, with these matters. So I think in conclusion, I would say that uh, the Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority is indeed a good starting point to ensure that these funds of people who've passed on are, you know, the, the beneficiaries of the funds actually get to it. But I've gotten so much feedback ever since I read my statement. Personally, I lost my father in 2022, and we are still in the process of trying to get the funds that were in his bank account. It is more expensive and more bureaucratic to access this money, and I think that we need to look into how we have to expedite processes within UFA. So, um, I'm calling upon ESCC to ensure that that file that was there, regarding this 10 billion and this money that is being looted, to really push. But I'm also calling upon the CEO of UFA. First of all, I think he should step down so that this matter can be investigated. As you can see now, him being there is only to ensure that those who are doing their work innocently and diligently are now being punished because they have refused to participate in the corruption that is there. And for the board to be disbanded. I think the president needs to disband this board because it's just uh, it's a matter of, uh, of time. Yeah, thank you.